Black Widows are the ones that mate once. Praying mantis eat their partners too. Ah, oh, so the insects know what they're doing then, apparently. Damn. Okay, I don't know why we got a mirror. How do I get these flowers? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Different kind of mirror. Okay, so we're not quite ready for that yet. Oh, we got some glitter. Iron axe. The jar is for the silver web by the spider. We'll try that in a second, Una. We'll try. I wonder if there's ever been a gay bugs before? Like a lesbian black widow? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, I wouldn't actually be surprised at all that... I feel like heterosexual, homosexual is kind of like a human thing, right? The bugs probably did it, they just don't label it, you know? What do I know? Like, I think we've seen in nature where certain creatures can change their, you know, their sexual organs or whatever, right? Hermaphrodite? Is that the right word? Oh my god. The queen bee consumes all the energy from his partner to make babies. I left for less than a minute. I know, I know, Pam, it's all good. We're fine, we're good. Not sure about the bugs. Yeah, me neither, me neither. I guess that's something to Google. Let me Google that for ya. We're trying to find the iron ax here. By the crossbow. I think we got that piece. Got a few more to go here. One more to go here. Excellent. That is a fancy looking axe. Dude's just over here hanging. All right. I actually have no idea what the jar is for. These delicate flowers grow inside dark caves. It blossoms instantly when bathed by bright moonlight. The kitchen looks like it's been recently used. We're here. Ah, there's a puddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll check that puddle out in just a minute. We'll go dancing in the puddles. The cupboard knob is what we're looking for here. The cupboard knob. Hmm. One more piece. Gotta go check out that puddle. Where are you, last piece? It should be relatively easy to spot. 
The sunflower? Oh my goodness. It totally is. Thank you, Dragonheart. Coming together nicely. Guess that goes there? Hey, we found something. A bottle with strange fluid. Yummy. Let's get a... No. Huh. It does not work. A pile of sticky webs here. Oh, maybe the... No, not the axe either. What am I missing with her? Nope, none of that's working. Hmm. At least it isn't white, though. JJ, shh. <laughs> you mean like whipping cream? Is that what you mean, JJ? I'm pretty sure that's what you mean, right? Right? Whipping cream? Who gets the mirror? Good lord. Hey, we did it! We got the witch and the goddess. Wow, that hint actually was a good hint. Well, actually, I don't... Oh. Hit it! Oh. Whoa! Yeah, like milk! Mm-hmm. Let there be mathematics. Oh, damn. Oh my goodness. Ho, ho, ho! This is insane. Holy shoot. The axe is because of a fairy tale called the Honest Lumberjack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mentioned it actually in the main game too. Like, a, remember it was a very fancy axe. So this is the only one that's got me screwed up here. Like, unless this is six, but that doesn't make sense though. Maybe this is two. I think we maybe got this. Math-o-matics. Loving it. We got a very fancy axe now. Ready, set, go. Once upon a time, many millennia ago, a fairy goddess ruled this forest and protected its magical inhabitants from creatures of dark magic. The forest kingdom lived in peace and prosperity for centuries, thanks to the goddess's alliances and political prowess. That is, until a mighty witch stole into the forest borders and assumed the appearance of the fairy goddess's most trusted advisor. One evening when the fairy goddess was sleeping, the witch poured an immense patient potion into the fairy's ear. As the miniature goddess dreamt, her power emanated forth in energy waves and was absorbed by the witch. With the fairy too weak to fight back, the witch locked her away in a secret cave. 
Now all the witch had to do was secure Ill One Kingdom. So she built a gingerbread house in the forest to bait anyone who dared to cross her path. For she could not risk the fairy goddess's rescue or even word of her capture reaching the wrong ears. But fairy whispers travel almost undetected by wind. And a few creatures heard the goddess's promise. Whoever sets me free and restores my power shall earn a golden gift. One that offers immunity to all enchantments. Damn. I want that. It's a golden axe. Where are we supposed to be doing this? Save me, Hansel. I don't want to be eaten by the witch. Gotta figure out where to put this axe. Do we just like hit her with it? Oh, no. Hmm. It's like she's frozen here, right? Or something. Hey, there we go. We need to put this. The golden axe for the golden tree. Oh yeah, right, right, right. What the hell was that? Um. Where was that? In the cave near the goddess. This tree? Yes, indeed. We now have golden branches. Why do we need these? I got some golden branches. The motor will be good for mixing ingredients. I think we're missing an ingredient though. I'm not sure how to get these flowers. Bathed in bright moonlight. Hmm. Mirror, I think, right? Now we got them. Um, moon flower. We're gonna grind you up. Eternal sleeping powder. Oh, looks like we gotta drug the witch. Save me, Hansel. I don't want to be eaten by the witch. Where the hell is the witch, though? Or is it for this thing here? No. Hmm. So, who gets the sleeping powder? She's entombed in the statue. Put the powder in the wine on the table? Justin, the, the witch movie that had sleeping powder. That that witch movie or witch movie was insane. Hansel, hide quickly! The witch 
Witch is coming back. Yeah, that movie is so dark and oof. Have I found the ingredients for you? Rosemary, carrots, potatoes, and rhubarb. Sounds yummy. Just thinking about the stew makes my mouth water. <laughs> Where's my wine? Oh, right in front of my nose. Ha 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 ha. You're in for a treat. We're just a kid, and we kick that witch's butt. Ooh. Gretel, you shall be free now. And Hansel, you have saved me and the creatures of the forest from the witch's cruelty. We are in your debt. Thus, I bestow the gift of the golden child upon you. You now have the power to heal magical properties. That means no magic can ever harm you again. And on every silver moon from now until forevermore, a descendant shall inherit this gift. Goodbye, children. Perhaps one day we'll meet again. <laughs> so there you have it. We are the golden child, the original golden child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, wine worked real fast, JJ. It's the fast of the fast. Hansel and Gretel safely return home into the warm embrace of their father. Knowing her plan had failed, the stepmother left and was never seen again. Hansel kept his newfound gift a secret. It wasn't until centuries later when, he, when a traveling mistral witnessed a young golden child perform an act of a miracle that the tale reached as far as the mountain kingdom. The moon goddess continued to protect the forest as she had done for centuries, allowing the ogres to live in peace as long as they stayed far from the human sight. And as for the evil witch, let's just say that won't be the last time we've heard from her. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! That actually is very story driven, isn't it? Alright, let's see what our extra bonus is. Puzzles! Oh my god, we get to do all these puzzles. There wasn't a huge variety of puzzles, but nonetheless, I enjoyed them all. Wallpapers. Yikes. Oh. Oh, hang on. It dumped out into <laughs> my computer here. Okay. Let's, uh... I don't think... Like, I like... I like them when they've got people on them. Like, come on, don't be shy, show your peeps. So yeah, wallpaper, and then we got movie gallery. There was quite a few movies in this game. They were, you know, generally short, but they were very intuitive. I liked it, fun. Concept art. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, that's gonna do it. We finished Dark Parables Rise of the Snow Queen. Yay!